if you are thinking of buying a MacBook, especially unofficially, basically from an unauthorized vendor, here's what you need to know. So first up, your MacBook is going to be inside either a cardboard box that looks like this, or you're going to get the retail packaging directly, depending on where you buy this from. So before you do anything, the first thing that you want to make sure is that you check the serial number. So for the cardboard box, it's going to be on one of the sides. And for the retail packaging, it's going to be on the back. Next, you want to Google the words Apple Serial Check and click on the first search result which says checkcoverage.apple.com. So here you need to paste your serial number as well as fill out this CAPTCHA. So once you hit continue, you're going to get a page that looks like this. So you'll see the information of your MacBook. So mine says M1 2020. So don't be worried if your color does not match. As you saw that my MacBook was a space gray one. But I'm guessing for every serial number, for every MacBook Air serial number that you enter, Apple is going to show you the gold version of it. So the main thing to take away from this page is this purchase date not validated. So this means you're, you've gotten what is basically known as an inactive product. So this means this MacBook has never been used before or at least never with an active internet connection before. So once you start using your MacBook, you're going to see that purchase date not validated changed to valid purchase date. So you'll also see your telephone technical support, which is about three months and the one year warranty here. So I actually bought my MacBook on Jan 22nd, but for some reason, every time I buy an Apple product, the warranty always seems to be one day less than one year. So I don't know why that is. I've had this happen with my Apple Watch and iPhone as well. Now I'm going to walk you through what the unboxing of an Intech product is supposed to look like. As you just saw, the cardboard box originally had a sealed pull tab. Next, I'm going to match the serial number on the retail packaging with that of the cardboard box. Not necessary, but just an extra cautionary step. However, when you actually turn on your MacBook, you definitely want to go to about this Mac and then check if the serial number there matches with the one on the retail packaging. This is to ensure that the serial number that you checked previously was actually of the MacBook inside. You never know what shady vendors can end up doing. Also, your retail packaging should have a sealed pull tab as well. Anyways, here's some more plastic unwrapping. By the way, opening this cover is harder than it seems. Now I think I'll shut up for a moment and let you bask in the glorious sound of taking that plastic peel off. So that's pretty much all that I had to say. I suggest that you repeat the same steps for any Apple product that you buy. That is, you should ensure that you're getting an inactive product by checking the serial number first. However, for iPhones, there is an additional step in that you should check the region as well using the model number. For instance, you definitely want to avoid the Japanese variants because if you end up getting one, you'll never be able to mute the camera shutter sound. Anyways, that's all for this video.